all right i finished my gear nylon gear i print this on one sixteenth thick garlite or phenolic paper and actually very nice and it actually sticks very good and so very good adhesion and not warping nothing like that so very cool so the garlic like really nice stuff to print nylon very cool so and it's a little bit shrinks but that's nothing you can incorporate this in the into the design and no problem so this is actually PLA that I printed before this is nylon and it meshes very good so very cool see very nice very cool mesh so I do like this very nice very cool mesh so this is PLA and this is nylon alright just very small minuscule difference it shrinks of course of course nylon shrinks more than not, uh, PLA so but anyway so you can incorporate this into the design and uh, make it large a little bit a little sp uh, space for the shrink shrinkage and you can make anything you want so anyway so this is really nicely done and so and it, it can print very nice gears i haven't tried yet to remove this one from the bed but So, I think it's nice. I mean, the quality of my nylon is not the best because I haven't, I didn't dry it complete. Uh, um, I should dry this one for like eight hours for 174 in an oven, but you know, I just try to go because this is just a test, but it works good. So, without water. It can be even better than this. Uh, it's not bad right now, but anyway, so. That's a bridge nylon. Tolman bridge nylon. So, very cool. Yeah, so I just zoom a little bit. I think it's good. Yeah. I use very small speed, 20 millimeter per second and 0.1 millimeter build, layer, layer height, so 230 for the filament and no heat to the bed at all, alright, so very nice, cool. So now I'm building special oven to dry my film and stuff and it's going to be done pretty soon. You can use just the regular kitchen oven for that, but I mean, for I'm gonna build something electric. So with electric heaters, it's gonna be smaller, way smaller. Anyway, it works with phenolic. So now my ant can print nylon, and I'm very happy with that. So just use. 116 thick garlite or phenolic paper. I bought this one, if I'm not mistaken, from Amazon or eBay. I don't remember exactly now, but I think in Amazon or yeah, something like that. But you can buy this from anywhere. I mean, they sell everywhere. So in a, even in a McMaster car, they sell this one. So anyway, perfect bed solution for the nylon 